Well, good morning uh, or good afternoon or good evening, depending on uh, when you may be listening to this. Listen, what I want to share today is, is part devotion and part preview uh, for the April 19th message. Let me, let me begin with a statement and a question. And, and really, the question is one I don't have to ask because I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the answer. But let me try. I hate to wait, don't you? And really, do you know anyone who does like to wait? I mean, I'm sure there's someone, but honestly, I can't think of anyone. I think waiting has been even more difficult uh, in this digital age where we're, we're so used to instantly having things available to us. I haven't done the research, but experience indicates that, that we may be more impatient now than ever before. And then along comes our current crisis. It's a prolonged season of waiting, of slowing down. I, I don't know about your home or business, but, but even my internet uh, has slowed to a crawl during this crisis. And listen, that's clearly a minor inconvenience compared to what some are enduring. And that's a complaint from a person uh, uh, with a lot of privileges. Uh, there are places that have never even heard of the internet, folks, or a supermarket, or a drive through or ordering from Amazon, places where people struggle every day for sustenance for that day. And let's be clear that while some of us are in this waiting pattern, others are working extremely long hours to heal us or to seek long-term cures or to, or to make plans for continuing uh, the slowdown of this virus while also seeking to try to reopen our country uh, to routine activities and commerce. There's others who are driving trucks or stocking shelves so that we have food and other necessities. Still others, even right now, folks, are they're fighting just to breathe. They're fighting for their very breath. So let me be very clear. I'm not promoting whining about minor inconveniences. But I am stating a reality. You and I simply do not like the unknown. We do not like anxious feelings. We simply do not like to wait. However, I hope we're all praying and trusting that this waiting at home is saving lives. And you know what? If, you, if we get through this with our family well and with enough resources to see us through and, and jobs to go back to, then we're going to indeed be blessed among people. But for now, we must wait. You know, God's Word even says a lot about waiting. For example, Psalm 37 verse 7 says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. And some of you may be thinking, great, even God's telling me to wait. But waiting for the Lord, being still, is evidence that we're trusting the Lord. I want to urge you to really lean into God during this time and, and to trust Him. I know the waiting is difficult. Some of us don't seem to, to be wired for waiting at all. I get it. I really do. But I know this. You know what? When I've tried to race ahead of the Lord, I've gotten myself into a lot of trouble. So this Sunday, we'll take a little uh, closer look at, at waiting and what we can do while we're waiting. What I share will not be an exhaustive list, and it likely will not be anything you haven't heard before. But as this season of waiting drags on, hopefully what I share will be a reminder of what we can do while we wait. And clearly one of the things we can do is pray. I believe our calling, church, is to intercede for this hurting world. With that in mind, I want to remind you to join together with your family or as individuals and pray there in your homes on Wednesday evenings around 7 o'clock. Of course, I hope you're praying uh, every day, but I simply recommended Wednesday evenings as a time for us to be united in prayer for the people of our nation and the world. 
So please uh, do so tonight. If you can, uh, later tonight, just stop and, and join together in your homes and, and pray. Let's pray together now. Father, we grow weary of waiting. But we're seeking to trust in you. And Lord, right now, at least uh, our region has been spared what so many are enduring. And we are grateful. But Lord, we continue to pray for those places and people suffering so much. And we pray for the people working so hard to heal them and to relieve their suffering and to provide the necessary things for our sustenance. And Lord, we pray that you would especially have mercy on those that are so ill and that you would heal them. We pray that you would especially have mercy on those working in hospitals around this nation and indeed around the world. We pray that you would give each one uh, courage to trust in you and the strength to endure. Oh God, continue to protect us and watch over us during this season of anxious waiting. Oh Lord, deepen our faith and help us trust you more. We believe, help our unbelief. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I hope you will join us Sunday morning. Take care of yourselves. God bless. Bye now.